Hi YouTube. Um, I've decided to do a video review today of a kit beer that I've done recently. Um, hi YouTube. Um, I've decided to do a video, uh, video, video, video review of one of my kit beers. Um, it's a Woodford's Wherry kit. It's a premium kit, so you get three kilos of the extract, the hopped extract. Uh, no fermentables need to be added to this kit. Um, if I make a kit, I use dried malt extract I, for my fermentables. I quickly learned that um, early on. I, I only used dextrose in my first kit um, because I learned that that was what was giving me the cidery, appley flavours. So I switched to dried malt extract. Um, however, these premium kits, you don't need to add anything at all to them. Um, you just make up the extract with boiling water up to 23 litres and when you've got the right temperature pitch your yeast. Um, I want to review this one because it's an excellent beer. It turns out really well. Um, it has a great head, great body, great flavour um, and I wanted to show you that you can make great beer from a kit. Um, here's my glass, clean glass, not washed in pond water like some people would have you believe on YouTube. Um, here's the brewer in the bottle with the labels. Um, I don't know if you can see how clear it is. It's in green bottles um, to protect it from the sun a bit. Uh, I used Safael SO4 yeast in this, uh, banded in the kit yeast, and half a teaspoon of yeast fit. Um, the reason I used the yeast fit was because um, when I made the first kit, it didn't ferment out properly. Uh, there was uh, a stuck fermentation, it stopped a little higher than what it should have done um, and also it didn't carbonate in the bottles very well, I didn't get a very good secondary um, so I used a different yeast. Unfortunately uh, the Safel yeast that I did use is not impressed me very much, it doesn't settle in the bottom, it doesn't cake so every time you move the bottle or pick one up it starts swirling around and you end up with a cloudy yeasty beer. Very disappointed. I will, will not use Safael yeast ever again. Um, but anyway, let's pour one, see how it goes. So, let's have a pour. Good sound. Nicely carbonated. Tilt the glass, we don't want a four foot head. There we go. A little bit too much head for my liking. I like a little bit less than that. If that was in a pub, I'd send it back. But, nice creamy head. Lovely coloured beer. Can't really see it on the camera. I don't have a second camera to show you through it. It's a nice see-through red colour. Just put the cap back on my bottle because there's a nice pint left in there. Smell really fruity, citrusy. Almost um, watermelon type smell. Very fruity beer. Citrusy, fruity. Um, really, really nice drink. You can imagine just sitting in the garden, barbecue, drinking plenty of these. It's not too heavy. Nice, nice mouthfeel. definitely recommend this kit. If you're starting out in brewing, kit brewing is the way to start. It gets you your basic equipment, you learn basics about brewing, from sanitization to the equipment needed, uh, learning about specific gravities, things like that. So, you know, I would never ju say to you jump it straight into extract and all grain. If you want to, fair enough, do it. I wouldn't recommend it. Start from the bottom, work your way up. I've done kits and I've now moved to all grain. So you I've personally just moved on to all grain. Um, I made all my own equipment from the boiler to the uh, mash tun, immersion chiller. The full setup made and running cost me £94 in the UK uh, and that included a full mash beer kit which has made me a marshmallow which I'm going to do a taste testing on um, next. 
Uh, it's only been in the bottles about a week, however, uh, I can't wait to taste it, so I'm going to give it a whirl, and we'll see how that uh, that tastes. As you can see, still head there. I'm sure some people will say I'm cheating, because it's a kit, and you can't possibly have head or head retention from a kit, but you can. No need to lie, lying gets you nowhere, and people hate you. So... That's my little review, not really a review, I'm no expert, I'm no critic, but you can make great beer from a kit, there's no denying it. Um, can you make better beer? Probably. And that's why I've moved on to all grain. Well, it's one of the reasons, the other reasons being, you can play with all grain more, um, you've got more more involvement in the process, and I wanted to um, elevate to the highest level in the hobby that I could. So yeah, that's why I have progressed to all grain. Um, you know, it's the highest level. Didn't go to extract, didn't see the point. Thought I might as well go to the top. Um, I didn't film the first video of me making uh, a full mash because I wanted to have full concentration on what I was doing. There was a lot more to think about. Temperature controls. Uh, my water levels and it was the first time I'd used my equipment as well and I wasn't sure how it was all going to work it did work really well um, I got guides for making an electric boiler um, off the internet um, and the mash tun was made from a cheap as the seven pound cool box with um, a stainless steel uh, toilet feed for my filter um, so yeah, there's a, there's a tasting of the beer coming up, I'm going to do that, and then when I do my next all grain batch, I'm going to film that and also put it on YouTube. Um, and you can watch along, it won't be a tutorial, because I'm no expert, I'm not going to say that I'm an expert when I'm not. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. Thanks for watching, see you soon.